What's good everybody? I'm Brandon. Hey man, today I'm about to do a video from Jets Destiny. This video is titled What Kids Are Really Doing on Musically. Yeah, y'all requested this and on trip, you know I got y'all. Bro, I didn't know kids even still use musically. I didn't know people still use musically. That shit was like that shit was popping like a year and some some change ago, you feel me? Maybe like a year ago that shit was popping. But I guess kids are still using it now. Look, I ain't no kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what the kids doing. Young little kids, I don't know what y'all doing. Y'all still on Musical.ly. That shit is cringy than a motherfucker. But anyway, Just Destiny. I've reacted to a few of his videos before, maybe like two or three. Um, He's pretty funny. I like this cat. Clearly, y'all do too. That's why y'all want me to do another one. Before I have a tour thought, make sure y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. Let's go, man. All right, so here's the deal. We've got a big problem on YouTube where YouTube's algorithm, automated system, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is constantly promoting these specific kinds of videos where you'll see young girls as young as 12 years old who are dancing in very inappropriate ways. That literally makes me start to cringe every time I so happen to see one of them. Now, me too. That's what I said. Musically, if not cringe. all, are coming from this one specific app called Musically or Musical.ly. Look, I don't know how to pronounce the dang thing, but this app is super popular and it has been downloaded by millions of kids worldwide. And in this app, you're able to create an account, and then as soon as you do that, you can start recording videos of yourself lip syncing to your favorite songs. So here's a video from the creators of this app explaining a little more about what kids can actually do on their app. What is Musical.ly? It's a social network dedicated to short, self-made music videos. You can record yourself lip syncing to popular songs, share your own musical creations, remix titles, or browse other people's work. Okay, no surprises here, but kids love to get their groove on using this app. Yes, that's very true. Kids do love to get their groove on when using this app. They, in fact, I mean, they love like to do a lot, lot more like... than just get their groove on. <laughs> This, this girl's probably like 12. First of all, why is Drake always in these Musical.ly videos? Like, can't they find some other guy to sing or rap for their little Musical.ly videos? <laughs> like, what the f- What is she beating up? And what is she slowing down? Can someone explain this to me in the comment section? Because I am highly confused. I notice there's a common trend between all these Musical.ly videos. Either the person in the video is wearing extremely short shirts and tight ass pants, or they're doing some type of shit where they're biting their lips or twisting their hips. It's just like, you're trying to be sexy. Why? I need you're trying to be sexy. Gotta see you in my head. Uh, here we go with Drake again. I'm sorry, but Drake just took another L for having all these Musical.ly kids dance to his music. I would feel embarrassed if I were him. How does that now, on, look, bro, bro. before I go any further, I'd just like to clarify that I don't have a problem with kids using the internet to make cringy videos of themselves singing questionable songs that they'll upload to their YouTube accounts. And then almost always, many years later, they regret ever making those videos because uh, of the sheer amount of embarrassment they feel when their uh, friends or family members find their old videos. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have been in that very same situation. But what I do have a problem with is when young kids, of which the majority seems to be young girls, they get on these types and of apps to be that have such a massive audience, and then they decide to post videos of themselves dancing to these particular songs that are obviously inappropriate for their ages. Yeah, bro. Twelve years old. That's crazy. Like honestly, can we just take a step back? and realize right? that most of these kids aren't even in high school yet. Like, most of them just got out of elementary school and into middle school this year. And they're over here dressed in Bro, short shorts, Bro, I was hella fast too, man. I was trying to have sex with girls. As if they're professional belly like dancers from Hawaii seven, or bro. some shit. Okay, so apparently belly dancing originated in Egypt, and actually hula dancing comes from Hawaii. Wow. I just learned something new. But my point still stands. Young kids shouldn't be posting this type of shit to the internet. Nah, Especially bro, in this bro. day and age where technology is so prevalent. And there are so many weirdos, creeps, and pedos on the internet who try to prey on these kids and follow their every True. move. And we all know there will always be those think weirdos that's... on the internet I'll who try to that. take advantage of the young and vulnerable. Just like in the Minecraft <coughs> community. <coughs> <coughs> what happened with Minecraft? I really need to get rid of that cough. 
Also, I can't forget about the boys on Musical.ly, otherwise known as the fuck boys of the internet, who are mostly around the ages of 13 to 14, who make videos like this. Welcome to hell. <laughs> Hey man, they young boys. They think they get all the young hoes, bro. No God! No God! Please no! 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 Yeah. This is an actual thing. That's how I feel. They lift their shirts, bite their lips, and stare into the camera in a super perverted way as if they're about to do something that I really don't want to see. So yeah, the Musical.ly girls and the Musical.ly boys are basically two sides to the same coin. And now with that being said, here's one big question I have. And that question is, why do parents allow their kids to make these kinds of videos and post them to YouTube in the first place? I mean, surely their moms or dads I'll must explain. have a clue as to what their I'll children talk. are posting to the internet. No, they don't. Right? I mean, nope. if you're a parent and you've got a 12-year-old daughter who stays in her room all day making cringy Musical.ly videos, I think you should at least check her phone occasionally just to see what you she's should. been posting. Because you never know what you might end up finding. Another good video from Just Destiny. All right, let me get my take on it, bro, bro. Listen, first I'll talk about the parents really fast. Um, parents, they monitor their kids, but you can't monitor every single thing. That'll be you being an overbearing parent. You know what I mean? Your kid, 12, 13, they say they're in their room. You let them be in their room. You don't know what they're doing. They could be playing video games, doing homework. I'm sure, like, while one of those girls or one of those guys you know the kids are making the musically if they mom come in the room they'll stop and then the mom will probably be like oh what are you doing like, oh i'm just dancing they're not gonna know that the kid is recording you know what i mean like kids are very secretive i know this i have little brothers that are young and they're hella secretive you know what i mean my little brother that's seven years old i found out that he watches uh sml you know i love sml i fucks with sml but my little brother is seven, so I kind of feel like he probably shouldn't be watching that. It's a lot of cussing and shit in it, you know what I mean? But my parents don't even know. My dad and uh, my stepmom, you know, the woman that he had those two younger boys with, my stepmom, they don't even know. So, like, kids, you know that they're on stuff, but you don't know exactly what they're doing because you can't monitor every single little thing. So the parents, I'm sure, don't know that their daughters is on there lifting up their shirts you know, winding with it, trying to be all sexy with it. I guarantee you, like, at least 80% of the adults or 80% of the parents don't know. Now, the boys, on the other hand, I, I kind of feel the same way, as in, like, the parents don't know, but their parents might know, but it just might be more accepting to the parents. I mean, y'all know the type of society we live in, you know what I mean? It is what it is. But, yeah, bruh, if I had a daughter, 12, 13, and I found out she was doing that, we're going to have a talk. We're going to have a talk for sure, for sure. Because on the internet, man, you got fucking creeper ass niggas. You got pedophiles out there that are, I'm sure, I'm, how much you want to bet? There's probably some pedophiles that created fake Musical.ly accounts just so they can watch young girls and young boys do that. How much you want to bet, bro? Like, I... I bet you there's some pedophiles out there. I'll be watching that Law & Order SVU, man. That shit crazy. Like, pedophiles be doing some crazy stuff. So, like, these kids, they need to be safe doing this shit. Like, I hope they don't be trying to meet up with other kids. You know, like, oh, we should meet up. I love your music, please. What school do you go to? Like, I'm hoping they're not responding to fucking messages from people they don't know. Like, I don't know, bro. It's crazy, though. It's crazy. And... I think one of the main reasons why these girls and these guys want to do it is because that's what they see their idols doing. You feel me? These young girls, they look at Beyonce, they look at Nicki Minaj, they looking at all these fucking, they looking at Rihanna, you know what I mean? They looking at all these pop star R&B singers, they see them super sexual, super sexy, you know what I mean? Twerking, doing certain things, so of course these girls are going to want to mimic that, you feel me? And the dudes know too, like, all right, let me try to be super sexy so all these girls can like me. It's just, it is what it is, bro. It is what it is.
But anyway, let me know what y'all thought down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.